Now, thanks for staying with us. Temilola Akimuda is an on-air personality at Cool FM Lagos, a mommy blogger and influencer. She also created the YouTube sensational show, Yay. Skinny Girl in, tra in Transit, and Things Men Say. Now, she, she is the lead producer at Box TV Production. Now, remember, you can still join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Ways. Or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 Thank you so much for joining us. Tame me, love. Thank you. Yay. You guys are so cute. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, Tame me. <laughs> so that skinny girl, I was just hearing skinny girl, skinny girl. Skinny get everywhere. I was wondering, ah, where is What's this skinny get? Mm -hmm. What channel is it? Can I go and watch it? Mm -hmm. I couldn't find the channel. Mm -hmm. And I heard that, oh, it was online. Web based. I mean, that mm -hmm. was for me was like, okay, somebody is daring, you know, because that, I mean, there was no Netflix. Yeah. yeah. There was nothing that was going to, that would, so why did you, was it your, your, your plan from the onset to take it on the web, you know, to create a show for a web channel or, I mean, it just happened to like Along switch. Maybe way. you didn't find the, 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 the production house to do it. Um, um, I mean, it was the, the intention was to do a TV show. Whoa. But I mean, I have to say big shout out to Danny. They came in and they started doing content for online and gave like young producers and creators a chance for them to, to get their stuff out there. Because getting on TV, you would know. It's yeah. not, That's it's hard. <laughs> it's hard, but online is easier and it, it gives people like me a chance to get heard in other spaces. So yes, it wasn't intentional to, for it to be online, but yeah, Danny was a, a great place to start. I'm curious to know who, who were those people that did not answer you because <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I like you, are happy that, you are happy that they did not answer right now because I mean, the, the show went viral. Mm -hmm. I mean, and anybody, the beautiful thing about the show being on the web was that anybody could watch it from, yeah, anywhere, from anywhere in the world. Yeah. You know, we didn't used to think because we, our traditional training is traditional media. So yeah. our mind is so boxed. In fact, I was having a conversation, was it two years ago with someone? She kept on insisting, oh, you know, well, let's do this. Let's put it on the, let's put it online. But I couldn't see that, you yeah. know. And now all of a sudden they say content is king. Everybody's scrambling to put all their stuff on the web. Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting. It is. I, I will say that content is the new crude. I mean, don't worry about the oil crashes. The oil yeah, prices crashing. Content is is secure cash is, flow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So talking about crude currency cash flow, you know, I like money. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so it's um it's on there, hosted on the web, and it's free, mm -hmm. free to watch. Mm -hmm. Like we don't buy tickets. It's not like the cinema mm -hmm. or anything. So how do you make money? I mean, again, it's it's content, content, and people. People connect with content. So I mean. In, on TV, you make money from ads. Mm -hmm. um, online as well, you make money from ads, but you also make money by creating content for people. So companies now are reducing their tra traditional advertising spend and spending more money online because content actually, it, it's more convincing. Like when you were younger, your mom probably bought a brand of butter because her mom bought it. Yeah. Yes, now exactly. it's like your friend on the internet telling you that this butter is really <laughs> cool yeah. and how are they doing that by content by showing you oh this is this new lipstick let me show you how it looks and I you know. can see the product through this person's eyes so that is content that's what content does it connects to people and because of that companies are willing to spend that money to connect to people and it's cheaper for them yeah. to do that it's cheaper for them to pay me are you sure it's cheaper yes it is it is it is, it is cheaper yeah. it is cheaper than a 60 second ad <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. I also work on radio, so I know how much those things cost, and I know how much I will charge as an influencer, and I know what is more effective. So Definitely. what is more effective for companies is actually the con online, the yeah. content, Marketing. because people can, they can feel it, they can live it, they can breathe it, they can see the product, as, as opposed to hearing just a fun jingle on radio right. or on TV. So for a company that is putting out content on the web, or, you know, instead of advertising, like... So what's what are the like the metrics for success to say that okay this is ad is doing well really, exactly I mean there's the first of all you, you can use your views I mean and then you can also I mean there's so many ways Indices, you can in, yeah. in, in, integrate products into your things so there's affiliate marketing where yeah. like I have a code in my link oh, and then you yeah, get twenty percent off code. so right. I mean they can see how many okay, people have I see gone a lot there of that from influencers yeah, yeah so you mm. see how many people have gone okay. there. 
Or, or there's so many I think things. even, I mean, for what, from what I hear, you know, when you listen to people now, they tell you that they, they love the online marketing. You know why? Because traditional media were used to quoting vague figures. Mm -hmm. Saying, oh, we have 10 million viewers yeah. Yeah. every right. day. 10 million listeners. So this you know, is measurable. This one, <laughs> online, there's no lie. Because if you say you have 10 million viewers, they need to see 10 million views yeah. on the lower third. Yeah, right. they, know, they know how many. I mean, I, I heard you guys talking to Tussing and you, you know how long people spend on her website. Yeah. yeah. It's very specific. Yeah. You know, you can put in links at certain points of the show where people can click here to yeah. buy things and click to, to buy what T.Y. is wearing, yeah. click to buy this. So, I mean, they can see the return on investment right there. It's right there. I know that and if I spend $1,000, I will get maybe $3,000 in sales. I can mm -hmm. see the conversion right there mm -hmm. as opposed to traditional media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for people that, like for young viewers that, you know, want to do what you're doing, mm -hmm. Was it only in Danny that you reached out to? What of are course the not. steps? To, you know, <laughs> how many people did you to? Um, um, I feel like you have to go everywhere. Just go everywhere. Beg. Neil. So, <laughs> don't lose your dignity. <laughs> don't be like me. <laughs> but I mean, you have to, you have to be dedicated. You, I mean, I think that a lot of young people, Gen Z, millennials, they think that they deserve everything. Hmm. Don't deserve anything. Mm -hmm. You have to go out there and actually go and fight for it. And also have good content. A lot of people just say, I saw this on American TV. Let me just change the name to Kemi and then... I know. It, it oh, will, it yeah. That's yeah. not how it works. Like, you have no. to have original content. And, <laughs> okay. and if you have to describe your show as the Nigerian version of the oh, show, it's definitely. not a good idea to no, start with. Original. So that's one thing I, I, sh I would tell you young folks. Huh. Don't, copy shows. don't copy shows. Don't copy shows. I like the originality. So um, there's something about originality and people not believing in that, that, yeah. that dream. Yeah. You know, people like to see what they want to invest in. So what kept you, you know, pushing to the point where you finally got someone to say, you know what, I think I like this content yeah. and I want to go. I mean, sometimes you're just lucky. Mm. Sometimes you're just very lucky to find people who, who believe in your dream. I mean, I have a new show coming out as well, First Time Mom. And it's, it, it, I pitched it at the same time as I pitched Skinny Girl in Transit. And you were kidding. Years. Yes, yeah. and, and, and that got picked up first. Oh, wow. But I mean, I didn't stop. I kept on pushing. I kept on, went to so many. It, got, it almost got made sometimes. And then they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, we won't make this anymore. And then it got made. And we're pr premiering uh, next weekend on Mother's Day. Oh, and it says... Yes, thank you. And, and I mean, you just have to keep pushing. And it's another original story. It's it's about moms, hmm. about being a mom, it's and relatable. It's yeah, re exactly. And moms. another thing I think with content is being relatable and being yourself. I mean, a lot of people want to be like somebody else. You want to be the new this person. You need to be yourself, and people will fall in love with who you are. I mean, there's so many content creators. They're blind content creators. They're disabled content creators, and that's the beauty of it. There's always someone who will love you no matter who you are, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. So just keep on pushing. Okay. So I was having a conversation with someone, and um, we we're talking about Netflix coming to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, we saw pictures and we saw regular faces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The usual, that we see all the time. And the person was now saying that, would, they, would, they, would, they, would there be um, ever a time where you would see things like this and see like a breath of fresh air mm. with, the, with the, you know, and the engagements and all of that? So it kept me thinking and wondering, you know, how can a young person position yourself because I told the person just be consistent at what you're doing push yourself make sure you're doing it and you're doing it excellently well but is that enough or do you need to actually truly look for the right networks or have a sponsor yeah. in the industry <laughs> uh, that's a very good Network. question I, I mean and another interview I got asked something they were asking me are you part of Nollywood and I'm like not really um, it's hard not gonna lie everybody has a click there's a click you have to break into but I believe that young people need to collaborate. You need to start making those opportunities for yourself. And that's why I created Box, Bo Box, TV. Box TV. You need to, 
if you're not getting into those doors, you create the doors yourself and, and get in there and do your own thing. And, and that's kind of the reason why I went online, because if TV is not talking to me, I'm going to go online. And now you have this hit show, and you now have, they you watch you on TV. Yeah. Because I have <laughs> content. I just, exactly. I've been I'm waiting for there. TV. TV just collected this there. one. This is my content. Yeah. Hey, TV, thank you to Plus TV. I'm <laughs> believing in us. Because they, they immediately I pitched this content for them. They loved it, and they, you know, yeah. they took it on. But not many TV channels mm -hmm. are like Plus TV. Yeah, yeah, so you just have to keep <laughs> so you have to, I have to create my own platform. Create now, your door. <laughs> somebody's asking a question uh, for Timmy Lola. What are the biggest challenges that she's faced with creating and putting out content and how does she tackle th those challenges? That's from Bob. Money. Oh. <laughs> it's always money. <laughs> As a producer, it's always money, getting the funding. Um, you, you don't want to not pay people well. Yeah. I mean, there's people on cameras, there's people on... And see, we work 24 hours all the time, 24 hours. You drink energy drink and come back on set and you have to deliver wow. every single time. So I wish there was more money. And even when there is money, again, it's like a click thing. Like, how does a young filmmaker or producer get that money? Wow. So um, I wish that the government had more funds because I don't want them to just wake up one day and then everybody has content and we don't. They need to invest in the creative industry and give money to the right people. I mean, BOI has this fund, but then you have to have collateral. You have to have all these things. Yeah. So I think it's money. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this money I somehow. Mean, <laughs> we can't leave here without talking about Timmy, the radio girl. Yeah. The radio girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, the wild one. I love you on radio. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Say My Name. Okay. Is a Kata. Yes. You know is. what this lady does? <laughs> oh my goodness. So she'll call you and have you say, oh, who's your boyfriend? Tell us your boyfriend's name. Meanwhile, boyfriend is on the other line. His name is Steven. And then you say Bob. Oh, oh no. Like, no. what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying yeah, to break relationships? Break. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am trying to break relationships. The boyfriend is on a... How? Tell yeah. us about it. What um, are you doing? A lot of people cheat. A lot of people cheat in Lagos. A whole lot of people cheat. And I just like to find them cheating. <laughs> That's what I do, honestly. So people will call me and uh, they'll be like, oh, can you call my girlfriend or boyfriend? And then I call them up. And there's always a, a thing. It's always a ruse. And they always seem to just... Be cheating. Whoa. I know. Wow. Okay, okay. So you know what? Like, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Is it like male and female? Yeah, like, male and female. Yes, so everybody's cheating. More more oh, men oh, cheat, oh, obviously. Okay, more we men. have more questions. <laughs> but then, yes. All right, so um, someone says, wait, I still don't know how media is monetized. I think we need to do more with data for traditional media and cable TV. Then ways, um, we see women directors and producers coming up. How do we get more women in the space? Hmm. Um, excelling, then do we have women supporting more in the media space? That's from one person. Mm -hmm. Somebody else is saying, uh, huh, okay, this is a funny name, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> so these days yeah, like we that. have, good evening, so these days we have a, a lots of creators on media. I want to ask if there's a relationship between social media algorithm and content creation. How do you study algorithms to know hmm. when and how to post content to in order to get maximum conversations. It's a lot of data science. I then. think, you know, I was going to even say that to Tosin, that, mm -hmm. you know, part of what social media would do is it will also tell you the time. Yeah. Because I remember Instagram would do that for me. Tell me the yeah. time at which people view my page mm -hmm. yeah. and the demography. Yeah. You know, it tells you everything. Yeah. You know, so I think those kind of things it's truly... Yeah. Or, also, you need to know who you're creating for. So mm. if you're a mommy blogger, you, you know mommy habits. Mm. You know when mommies are up. Oh, you know, yeah. then you post then. Instagram mm -hmm. might not tell you that, but then you post then, you know. Mm -hmm. If you are posting for people who for work. Night clubbers. You yeah. wait, wait till when they have free office <laughs> exactly. Wi-Fi yeah. and then no you post then. The exactly. Mm -hmm. So you just need to know your audience as well and then use the algorithm and work your way okay. around. So one, one very keen um, um, question I've had on my mind. I have great content. Yeah. But my fear most times is... Um, content um, copywriting, mm -hmm. theft. You share, and yes. then somebody Pill free. creates. Let's yes. pick the right English. <laughs> Pill free. Mm -hmm. It happens. So how do we know the right people to partner with? Because I would love to partner with people that would really take the headache off my head. I have great ideas for contents that are original, that not, I mean, not repetitive and all of that, like what we see. So how do I protect my intellectual property? I'll say first of all, you need to go register, type it up, go 
register your your idea have it copyrighted okay. now when you're talking to anyone you first have an nda so they make them sign right. an nda before you have the conversation with them so once you protect yourself copyright and nda that's great another thing i'll say is as creatives you want when you're amongst creatives you want to share what you're doing because it's it's about love it's real love it's like passion like you know, with Tiwa, it was, it Tiwa is me. I created it. I dreamt about her. I know what she likes. And, you know, so you want to brag about these things. But I've learned now as a creative, you listen more. Listen more to people than say. I you know you want to be like, I have this thing. I have this new thing. Yeah, just be like, oh, yeah, that's great. Well, mm -hmm. well done. <laughs> you know, I am a loser, but you're not. But well done. <laughs> you know, so I would say protect yourself. NDA and make sure you copyright your idea before you give it yeah, to. But anyone. some people don't even have the money to afford it. It's 15k. It's for NDA. Oh, it's really? not, it's not, yes, yeah, it's and just for NDAs contract. you can actually find mm -hmm. formats online. Just yeah. search NDA mm -hmm. and then have that and that. Oh, you. so yes. that's that cheap then? Yes, and awesome. to copyright, it's it's very it's quite cheap. Awesome. Yeah, also, so I watch Skinny Girls in, tra in Transit, and the show is fly. We need more quality stories. The cameras seem to be an upgrade. I mean, sorry, the cinemas. Seems to be an upgrade of Nollywood movies. Is that what they're trying to say? That the skinny girl seems to be more. It's better than. Is, is the, an upgrade, yeah. You know, from the regular shows. From the regular have. shows. The only thing is, I'd like it if you, you know, make it longer because it's like. What's when happening you, next? No, that's, why, that's, that's why. That's why you're on your toes. That, that's TV shows. I, I think that. <laughs> I think that. I just think that producers need to make more relatable content. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of things that are around fly over people's heads because they can't relate. With, so, Timmy, with um, do you do you want to do movies for mainstream? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, why? I'm not sure because I love TV. Um, I just love that they're your friends. You you just you're gonna see them next week. It's like you know you're gonna you guys are gonna hang out next week. Yeah. That's what I love about TV. It's continuous. It's not the end. You feel the like end. Part of exactly. Them. At 90 minutes is over, and you're like, oh, so, so That's what? That's why Game of Thrones you know? took us for eight years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you kind of just yeah, know what Cersei years. would have said. Yeah. You kind of, you know, Monica, you know, you, you see well them exactly. Them. And you see so, the stars, and yeah. you're trying to have a conversation about what they did last year. Well, you know, year. it's tougher <laughs> to produce series than movies. Movies yes. is the one off, bah, yeah. bah, bah, you're yeah. done. Yeah. You can actually time it. Nigerian movie can do movie in two weeks. What's two weeks? You can. One day, Seth, you can do a movie. You know, but with with um, series, the production cost is a lot higher yeah. and all of that. So mm -hmm. apart from BOI, you know, I hear that there are international funds yes. that are available for content creators. Mm -hmm. Do you know of any and how do we access them? Well, you can find, I would say you can find them <laughs> online. I feel really? like also a lot of young people don't want to go and search for things. They want you to tell them, now, now to carry the cup, cup and, and drink, drink the water. That is how to drink water. <laughs> You need to go and Google, search. It's fun also because you learn a lot of things. On the way. On, on the way. And then you have these stories to tell. Do you remember when I was there and I was searching on Google? Mm -hmm. That's fun. It's fun. So I think, yeah, you need to go out there and find things for yourself. So what's that one advice that you give to a young person that is, about, that is just dilly-dallying? Should mm -hmm. I, should I not? Do it. Awesome. Do everything. Mm -hmm. Thank you You're going to so make mistakes, much. but just do it. Just do, do it anyways. anyways. Yes. I think we can wrap up on that, ladies. Yeah. Thank Sorry. you so much. No, no, no sorry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll pray about that. <laughs> we'll pray yeah, about that. Yeah, we have so to go on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. You can watch Lovely. a repeat broadcast uh, on Mondays, Sunday, Saturdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. It's been a really, really insightful conversation, yeah. ladies. Okay. And remember to keep all the conversations going on all our social media platforms as we continue to hear what you are saying. Now, in case you missed today's quote, Currency is, I mean, content is the currency of the social web and sharing that content is the catalyst to new relationship and business Benefits. benefits. You agree with the person? Yeah, All right, Mark Schaefer. Well done, Mark. <laughs> All right, so enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace out.